Hey folks, how's it going? It is April the 10th out and it's uh, pretty nice and warm so I come out here I'm going to do a couple videos. I'm going to do some whatever you want to call them tips or uh, helpful hints for the trap line. I'm going to do just short segments. I was going to do it all packed into one giant video but it'd probably be too long and basically this way you can look for what you want and if you see something interesting go ahead and click on it. So. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about uh, remake kits. Somebody actually asked me to show this, so this is the first one I'm going to do. Uh, there's two reasons what I, why I use a remake kit. The first reason is it's just nice and easy. I grab it out of my truck or out of my side-by-side, -side, whatever I'm doing. And if I got to walk to a set, I just grab my remake kit. And I got everything in there I know I need. And if I get up there, if I had a... Uh, something that I've missed or if I make a catch I can do a quick remake on the set and and be on be on my way because uh, a lot of us still we got to keep working on everything the second reason is to uh, keep contamination away from uh, the equipment I use for making a fresh set so once you make a catch everything's gonna smell and uh, the dirt smells the trap smells and I don't I don't replace traps hardly ever to remake I just go ahead and remake the set everything smells like that so keeps all that scent in the remake kit so the two reasons ease of use just for ease and speed and for contamination issues so for the my remake kit is nothing fancy really it's just nothing more than a five gallon bucket I can pick it up out of my truck and go I used to carry all kinds of stuff in here but I've got it pretty much narrowed down to what I know that I need a uh, pair of gloves we're doing a remake, I just keep them clipped on the outside. I like having a kneeling pad. I got arthritis in the knee already, so that helps out. Kneeling pad, keep a few extra underalls. Just a basic little garden trout. If it's a remake on a dirt hole, the, the hole should be there, I should be able to dig it out. This is just a nice pla little plastic trout. It's nice and light, hardly weighs anything. So. The stuff I've pulled out so far is, is very lightweight. Yeah. Uh, this I only carry if, if it's really wet and or if I'm using wax dirt. This has wax dirt in it right now, so that's the most weight that I have in here. If, if the uh, if the conditions are right, I don't have any dirt in all at all in here. Nice light sifter and just a couple basic tools in case the trap got beat up. Uh, screwdriver for adjusting the pan, pan tension or whatever. A little pair of locking pliers. I can bend a dog around a little bit if, I mean, unless it's really beat up. Coyotes can be pretty tough on some traps, so it's nice to have a couple little tools to to tweak a trap a little bit if necessary. So, uh, and that's about it. So I can pick this up on the go, literally. If I don't have any dirt, if there's no dirt in here, this doesn't weigh much more than like uh, like two buckets, two empty buckets. I mean, the sifter and everything, nice and lightweight. So that's what works for me. And you may have some other tools you like to carry around, but but this is what this is what I use. So that's my remake kit. Helps out, like I said, with two things: with contamination issues and it's just very easy and for speed so nice and simple all right thanks for watching episode two will be coming up shortly hopefully